What's up y'all? Today we're out here at Del Val. Came here today to uh, check it out. Haven't been here since I went trout fishing with a goon buddy last November. And um, yeah, we're here today. We're gonna see what happens. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get fishing. Well, this is a completely different lake than when I came here last time. Last time we were here, the uh, boat docks <laughs> weren't torn apart by the storm like they are right now. Yeah, last time this is where you came to rent boats. Looks like they moved it down over there. Very different. Very, very different. Looks like there's a lot of grass and rocks right here. Grass, rocks, and docks. Oh, cool little backlash there on the very first cast. There we go. Knew there was some shad being chased over here. There's Bell Bell Bass, 2023. About a couple pounds, just up here shallow in the rocks, chasing these shad. The chatterbait. Yeah, little uh, spunk shad, blue gizzard colors. Seeing all these bait popping right when I parked. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was just thinking about throwing on a, a spook or a plopper, but I was like. Especially retrieving back towards the bank. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> That's why I went with the chatter. I'm like, I can rip through it pretty all right. A couple little babies followed it on that one. There have been any uh, striper boils this morning? I haven't seen any yet this morning. Usually they were right by the boat dock right here. Yeah. I thought there might be. Just because. So I grew up a woman in there and got like a 20 inch striper. They're not real big ones, but they're, they're kind of skinny. Yeah. Fun fights, though. <laughs> There's a striper boil way out there. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm feeling like there might be a bass over around here. Let's throw the jig and see what happens. Probably gonna want to get down here actually. A bit far down here we can go without it being too sketchy. I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be kind of sketchy. And just immediately like that. Of course.
see what happens if we toss a drop shot out there. This corner looks fishy. See a couple of tiny fish down there, so that's a good sign. Sometimes where there's small fish, there's bigger fish that want to eat the small fish. Can we get a follower with the big swim bait? Let's find out. Definitely can scare a lot of bait fish. get some one to two pounders to follow it. Those were actually more like half pounders to be fair, but still. Oh, we see a big old bass right down there. It's too bad that we can't uh, get down there. That looks like a three, four, five pounder. Just chilling in between those two trees. It's pretty cool. All right, we are back. We have retied a lure onto this rod. We now have a rattle trap instead of a deep diver. Don't know how we're gonna land a fish if we hook it, but I just wanna see how the cast is. So far, just some Dinkerson followers. Gonna keep on moving. The yeet! <laughs> Knew eventually we'd get one with the finesse. <laughs> Luckily, Jim Bob here was small enough that we we're able to flip him up. He's about a one pounder. Hello. All right, let's get him back. Just chasing shad in the grass. There he goes. Knew eventually this would get eaten because so many small fish were just following it. Just following it and following it. Knew eventually there had to be one big enough to eat it. Pretty much right where we thought he would be, just in that grass. Luckily we got this 12 pound fluoro on here right now. Otherwise that flip might have been unsuccessful even though he was only about one pound. Oakley dokley. Let's go to the next spot. But yeah, we're uh, just using a EWG offset three aught hook with uh, just a spunk shad on there, and we're just sort of popping it back and forth, sort of just subsurface. Looks like a little sh lost shad, but slightly bigger than the other ones, so you know, entice them a little bit more. But yeah, we're. Uh, I'll make one more cast here and then we're going to go to the next spot. Alrighty y'all, that's going to wrap it up for the day. So we came out here, we looked for some striper, we couldn't find them. We did catch some fish, but um, we're going to come back. We have a couple ideas for what we're going to use when we come back next time. But no skunk, it's a good day and we're, we're going out and checking more waters than just the same two lakes over and over again. It's something rewarding about catching a fish at a place that you don't regularly go to. <laughs> What's up y'all? Today we're out here at a new spot. New lake, haven't been here before. And it's been right around the corner from a lot of the other places I've fished. We got a cold front pushing in right now. So, I'm not sure how that's going to affect the fishing. I also don't know where I'm going to uh, try to fish from. But it looks like we have a little bank down here that 
we might want to check out so anyways we're gonna try it out we'll see what happens hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get fishing okie dokie here we are brand new spot never fished it very quickly incoming cold front the winds just picked up out of nowhere in the last hour it's dropped about six seven degrees looks like we have an interesting wall over here in a point and i think there's a creek that flows in here we're gonna see what it's like it's like an old foundation for a building that was once here so with this wind, I think we'll start off with something a little louder. Probably start off with the chatterbait. It's like someone was having a little camp out here before. Try a different lure now. Walk back to our other rods. Let's throw a big old swim bait and see what happens. Probably nothing, but have to throw it. Just feel kind of obliged to throw the swim bait at least once when we're out here. We've thrown all three rods, might as well throw the last one before we go. You never know, sometimes a Hail Mary pays off. Like I said, sometimes a Hail Mary pays off. Jim Bob. Thank you, Jim Bob. Okay. I think I just got a hit on the fall right there. Not sure. Got one. Another small one, I think, but still a fish. Oh. Shook it. Yeah, small one. I think we might actually have to go grab our drop shot. I'm not sure yet. Let's throw the, uh, so they're chasing bait fish. And there's bigger ones. And they, they like the rattle think they would like the chatter. There's one big enough to eat chatter out here. I feel like this is for sure the correct lure. Got one. Okay, see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, knew the chatterbait would get one. All right, well this one, Bim Bob here is the third fish we've caught or hooked here. Sort of figured that with that rattle work that this would work but still not the size we're looking for they're hungry though give them that that little guy eating the 3 8 ounce chatterbait successfully they are in this general area all right y'all that's gonna wrap up this video. So we did some fishing at Del Val, got on a couple. We hadn't been there since last year in the winter. And then we came out here and we checked out this new, this new place. And I've never fished here before. We found a little bait pattern going on. So we caught or hooked a few fish, caught a couple. And yeah, um, you know, not every fishing, not every weekend is going to be like super successful 
record breaking, but you know, we're out here, we're fishing. We didn't skunk. We checked out some new places and went somewhere that we didn't really, we don't fish regularly at all and had success. So that's a win in my book. And you know, historically around this time of year when it's summer to fall pattern, I start to uh, start to flounder a bit. This year, you know, we're not catching any mondos, but we're catching fish and not skunking. So that's another win for me, honestly. And like every year, every day, every week, every month, every minute, you know, that I'm on the water, we're, we're learning something new. We're improving our technique and we're getting better and there's signs of it. So I'm really happy with that. If you've been enjoying these videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Peace.